and welcome back for another Buff Bunny Collection sizing and review video with me, your girl T, and Milo because he still thinks it's Buff Pups and he wants to be in all the videos. This is part one of the Boyfriend Collection. So in part one, we're going to be reviewing all of the sports bras, leggings, and shorts. I will be doing a part two where we review all of the threads, lifestyle pieces, along with the accessories. I have a full item list in the description below with every single item that will be included in this review along with the size that I got. Let's run through some housekeeping really quick. Boyfriend launches on March 2nd at 1 p.m. Central. As always, you can use code Teresa to save 10% off of your order and it supports me and you're able to enter the support code giveaway. Every time you choose to support me, it helps me grow with the brand so I can continue to bring you these reviews, these hauls, these BTS details, and all of that good stuff, and hopefully one day the opportunity to have my own collab. For reference, I am 5'2". I wear a 36, 38 double D bra. It kind of varies, it goes back and forth. I have a 33 and a half inch waist, 48 inch hips. I don't know if I said I'm 5'2", but I'm 5'2". And typically I wear large bras, large leggings, and extra large shorts. Remember that all of my sizing is in the description below. Just in case I forget to mention it here in the video, just know that it is included in the description. Along with that, I also have timestamps. So if you are just interested in a particular item or maybe like two or three items, then you should be able to click on the timestamps or the chapters down here to jump around the video. All right, let's get into it. The first item we have is the Ivy Wrap. So if you were to take a candy wrap bra, right, and then you took an Ivy crop and you mix them together, you get an Ivy Wrap. And I'm just going to tell you right now that the Ivy Wrap, it's my jam. It's my jam. I like it more than candy wrap. I do, I do, and maybe some people will disagree with me, but for me, I just feel like it just fits so good. And something about the straps on the candy wrap, I've always mentioned it before, you know, sometimes they dig a little too much, and I mean, although you can adjust them, I just, I was never really a fan of those straps. I like the wrap part of the bra, it was always the straps that I always had, like, not an issue, but that was just kind of like, meh, about. But, the Ivy wrap, Perfection, it's perfection, okay? So, let's get into it. This is a Nubri fabric bra. We have the candy wrap front with a smaller, shorter ivy wrap back, or ivy crop back, as you can see. This is going to be really supportive. The sides, as you can see, are really nice and thick and supportive as well. These straps right here are adjustable, so I adjusted mine to just give me some nice lift and support here. These straps, I have not personally found that they dig in. I think they sit comfortably. I know a lot of people ask me if they kind of feel like um, the straps from the Cloud Bralette, and to me, they feel nothing like the Cloud Bralette. I've told y'all too that on the Cloud Bralette, I don't like the little thin straps. They just feel weird on my shoulder. I do not feel that at all with this bra. To me, this bra is just so comfortable it is more of a midline so it's not super short line like the um high rollers and the reversibles but it's also not long line like revolution or rosa it's more midline right so i do like that because i still get that separation between my leggings and my sports bra um usually if they're long line my bottoms and my tops kind of like match up um but i like having the separation here so that's why i like that this is more of a midline length it does include removable padding. I still kept it in so you can kind of like see if you if it's noticeable. I don't think it's super noticeable in my opinion, um, but I naturally just take the padding out anyway. So I know that after this review, I will be taking the padding out of mine. Another significant difference between this one and the candy wrap bra is that this one has a little bit more of a slight 
neckline whereas the candy wrap has more of a deep v neckline so because this one comes up a little bit higher it has less cleavage so it has a little bit more coverage and a little bit more support i like i said i feel so good in this bra if my knee wasn't you know busted I, you would catch me doing box jumps and sprints in this bra because for me it truly does feel that snug and supportive I believe that this is a very true size bra. I did try on a medium just for, you know, poops and giggles, and um, I, I can wear it. It's just it, it felt a little bit tighter right here. So personally, I wouldn't size down to a medium. And then the extra large, I just get gapping right here. So I personally wouldn't size up to an extra large either. I just feel like my large is perfect. Now, if you are between sizes and you don't like things digging in, or even if you don't want like this kind of digging in, then maybe perhaps you can size up. Um, or if you have higher like profile boobies, then maybe that would be another reason to consider sizing up. But for me personally, I feel like my normal size is perfect. The IV wrap will come in six colors. So whatever bottom you choose, you will be able to find a bra to match your bottoms. With Cake, we had the Sculpt Seamless Bra. With Genesis, we had the Scoop Seamless Bra. But with Boyfriend, we have the Shape Seamless Bra. And out of those three bras, this one is my favorite. So this one is still made of the seamless fabric, but I feel like this one has the most coverage and the most support out of all three. The Sculpt Seamless was short line and it was kind of like halter crisscrossed in the back. The Scoop Seamless was really scoopy and it was really low. Um, it was okay, but the straps were kind of a little, you know, I, li I liked it, but it wasn't my favorite. But this one, this one has everything that I want and need. Starting with the bottom of the bra, this is more of a midline, so it's going to come a little bit lower than the sculpt or the scoop. So I, I do like that because we get a little bit more coverage and a little bit more support. It has this almost like an, a little V design. Think of it almost like the curve, but not like her, but I'm just mean like the way it kind of comes out like this, okay? But it's definitely more supportive than the curve in my opinion. Um, obviously completely different fabrics. So like not really comparable, but I just wanted to, you know, make, make mention how the bottom fits, okay? It does have removable padding. And then instead of one strap on the shoulders, it has like a double strap little thing, which is great because when you have two straps, automatically it makes the bra that more supportive. I also love the neckline on this one. It is significantly higher compared to the other two. So you get more, again, more support and more coverage and it just holds the girls in while still looking cute and girly. This back right here is another thing that I love about this bra. I love this little like V dip right here. It just looks so freaking cute. Now this bra is meant to be paired and complement the BBL leggings, but as you guys know, the BBL leggings are just not my favorite because they are too sheer. <laughs> They're too sheer for the size of my booty. Um, so I opted to not get the BBL leggings, but I still think that this bra pairs really well with just Newberry leggings, even with like the Dream Heather that I have on right now. It just looks so good. So if you like the seamless bras, then I know it in my heart that you are going to love this one too. Okay, okay, let's talk Dream Heather because I think the last time we had Dream Heather with Genesis, I didn't talk shit about them, but I did say that they weren't my favorite and they have since grown on me so much that now I love them. I love them, I love them. I freaking love them. I think the thing with the Dream Heather is that the first time I put them on, they felt a little tight. And as I have worn the Dream Heather, the, the, the old ones from Genesis, they have gotten more comfier, more stretchier, more softer. I don't know what it is, but the more you wear them, the better they get. <laughs> and so um, after wearing them so many times, I realized, you know what? I actually really do love this legging. So when I saw that they were coming back with Boyfriend and in new colors, you know I had to get it. You know I had to get it. So I got mine in the color Mocha Berry, which is my favorite. 
colorway in this collection followed by berry ice but mocha berry is my number one it just i feel like it complements my skin tone so well i feel like it's light but it's still dark enough to conceal like cellulite and imperfections i just feel so comfortable in the color mocha berry you will see that across the rest of my review because i did get a lot of mocha berry pieces but these leggings are just so good now that being said for my hourglass shape, I have a small waist with wide hips and a big booty, okay? So I personally do have to size up in these for them to fit me because if I get large in these, which is my normal size, they do fit, but they feel a little low in the back um, and they almost fit more like a mid-rise. Um, so I get an extra large to give me just a little bit more um, on the waistband here and they fit more, not ultra high rise, but just high rise so they sit at the small of my waist and they just they feel comfortable they look good and i get again <laughs> that separation between my top and my bra um which i love which i know not necessarily everyone likes i know some people really like that ultra high legging like the rosa and the legacy and that's cool i mean i like those too but you know sometimes i just don't want to feel that covered up and so these are like such a happy medium for me and they're so freaking stretchy and just the dream heather like that heather wash that heather fabric i just think it looks so good and so cozy now i wouldn't classify these as like ultra high support leggings i would say they're more like medium support i definitely feel fine working out in them um obviously because of the way that this fabric is they are not going to be sweat wicking in any capacity okay you'll be able to see sweat everywhere so just you know for you to know um but they actually hold up really well in the gym. At first, I was kind of hesitant to wear these to the gym, um, but I have actually worn them to the gym a couple times now, the old, the, the ones from Genesis and these now, and they do really well in the gym. So you can totally wear them to the gym, just know that they're not gonna be sweat wicking, but the support is great, the comfiness, the stretch, it's great. I love the Dream Heather, and I think that these are definitely gonna be in my top picks for this launch. Next up, I have the Revolution bra. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the Revolution because the Revolution is a Buff Bunny staple. It's been around for years. It comes out multiple times a year. I've reviewed it so many times. But just in case you're new and you've not watched my reviews before, I'm going to touch on it lightly, okay? So the Revolution bra is made out of Nubri fabric, which is a double brushed, super soft, super stretchy fabric. I wear size large. This is a long line bra so it comes out lower so this is what I mean when I tell you that long line bras connect to my bottoms as you can see here it connects to my shorts which my shorts are ultra high rise which I'll cover next but so you can see that it is a long line bra so it does have more coverage if you don't want to like show your torso this is a good option just so that's like kind of between a tank and a short line bra you get a little bit more coverage this one has a square neckline which personally i love i know that it doesn't work out for everyone i know that some girls say that they bust out of it like they come out of it at the top i don't seem to have that issue i feel like it's a very supportive bra obviously i do get some cleavage right but i like that um, so I get the cleavage, but I still get the support that I need, and it keeps my girls nice and snug inside. The straps are not spaghetti straps, so because they are thicker, they have more support, and they stay nice and put. The back, again, we have the long line, and then we have this super cute crisscross strappy design that is super feminine, but it also doubles as support to keep your girls nice and pulled up. The Revolution bra is a customer favorite. So if you haven't tried it before, I highly suggest that you give it a shot. It, it Honestly, it works so well for almost any kind of activity, whether you're doing high intensity, low intensity, just walking, lifestyle, because you can totally just dress this up as well. It is such a good bra in my opinion. One of my faves as well. All right, let's talk about the Legacy Shorts again. A returning item we've seen these shorts time and time again this time they come in the six inch inseam which we love I 
I'm a lover of the 6 inch over the 4 inch. I will always pick 6 inch over 4 inch. So I'm glad that this time around they came in 6 inch. Now some of the girlies that like the short shorts, I see where they like hike them up and just make them shorter. And they still look super cute. So if you are a short shorts girly, you can totally like just pull them up and make them short. But for those of us who like to have more coverage and support around our thighs, um, the 6 inch is such a happy medium length to where it's not quite a biker short, but it's also not like short and revealing it or uncomfortable. Legacy shorts are ultra high-waisted, so compared to the um, Dream Heather leggings that I have, you can see that these come up higher. So these come up way higher. So the small of my waist is right here. These come up past the small of my waist. So if you want that like full tummy coverage, then Legacy or anything ultra high-rise is going to be the way to go. The fabric itself is so super super stretchy and super super comfortable now I size up in all of my shorts this is a Teresa thing this is not like a buff bunny sizing is wrong thing this is purely a Teresa thing because I have powerful goddess thighs and my powerful goddess thighs need a little bit more room around the hem of the shorts so I always prefer to size up to extra large just for that because otherwise the large would fit my waist just fine um but as you can see sizing up to an extra large to get that room on my thighs it still looks great on my waist it's still going to be supportive it's still going to be like very flattering i don't get too much like extra fabric bunching or anything so just want to throw that out there they're pretty true to size i know a lot of girls actually tend to size down in hoobie bottoms um personally i just true to size or if it's shorts size up for my thighs but i think they look great Next up, we have the Girlfriend set, which is one of my favorites from this launch. And I understand that some people might not agree with me because of how booby and how revealing it is. And I totally understand because that's not everybody's cup of tea. But me personally, I love this set. So let's start with the bra. We have the Girlfriend sports bra. I'm wearing a size large. When I first got it and I went on my stories, I said, man, I think I should have gotten an extra large because when I tried it on before, I don't remember it being this tight. Now that I've worn it several times and then I've washed it, I feel like it's so much more stretchy and it doesn't feel as tight as it did the first time I tried it on. Both of these pieces, I feel like fit that same way. So I would say stay true to size on this bra unless you want a little just a little bit more coverage right here then you maybe want to consider sizing up or if you don't want it digging in your back then that's another reason why you would want to size up but just know that this bra is light support light coverage as you can see but I love it out of all like the light support dainty bras that we've seen in the past year this is the one that I actually feel comfortable in like I, I, like the twist bra from naked <sighs> I couldn't do that one because my my girls wanted to come out of that okay um double twist bra was like a step up I liked the double twist bra way more than the original twist bra but this one this one goes over the double twist. I love this one more than the double twist. I love this one more than the reversible. Again, not because it's supportive, but just because of how like cute and girly I feel in it. Obviously, like I said, it is light support and it does have a deep V and it is going to give you a lot of cleavage. So I don't want you to like think that just because I like it, I'm saying I like it because it's supportive because that's not the case. I just like <laughs> the bra. I like how it cradles my girls. I like how it just makes me feel so girly. I don't know. I just really, really like it. Now, this bra is um, reversible, so you can wear it the other inside out. So um, right now I have the mineral wash, the black mineral wash on the side. The other side is just solid black, but you can wear either side. Both sides have branding like along the side right here. So whichever side you wear it on, you'll still see the branding. Um, there is no padding in this bra. So you, if you wanted to get this bra, you would either have to go sans, 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 sans padding, um, or you would have to use your own, some type of like nipple covers or sticky bra situation. Um, 
I did wear like the sticky, like the cakes um, under it just to see and they kind of, they did okay, they did okay. I know there's like different sizes so like depending on what size you get, obviously it's gonna, it may or may not peep out. Um, the smaller ones didn't, for me at least, they didn't show. So just something to keep in mind because I know that might not be for everyone. I know not everyone feels comfortable going without padding or anything like that. So if that's not your thing, then maybe this is not the bra for you. Maybe stay away from it. Maybe try something else that does have padding. Um, but if you like these kinds of bras, then I think you will really, really be pleasantly surprised with it. And I know like a lot of the other athletes who have tried this bra have also been pleasantly surprised and really love it. The back is this strappy design. So we do have thin straps, crisscross, very dainty, very, very girly. Now I do carry a little bit more weight in my back. So although it might even seem like it's digging in, I don't feel like it's digging in. It's actually very, very comfortable. Next up, we have the girlfriend leggings, which are also made with Newbury fabric. Now, we know that Rosa and Lexi are also new fabric, but these fit very different from Rosa and Legacy, okay? Now, the leg parts feel the same. If you were to put on a pair of Legacies or a pair of Rosas on me, and I touched my legs and like moved around, the leg part is gonna feel exactly the same in all of them. The biggest difference here is the waistband. So, Rosas and Legacies are all ultra high rise. They come up to here to me, okay? These are just high rise, so not ultra, high. So they sit a little bit lower on the waist. Additionally, these have an extra seam um, along the waistband, whereas Legacies and Rosas do not. So the first time that I put these leggings on, I did say they felt a little bit snug on my waist. That is because of the extra seam here along the waistband. They also have this faux crisscross right here. So you think like siren legging, monarch legging, how they kind of like overlap. So this has a fake, like a faux one. It's just straight stitching. But I love this because I like that this stays in place. Whereas like Rosa and Legacy, sometimes they do kind of like pinch the, I don't, I don't, mine don't roll. Mine just kind of like pinch down and so the V becomes straight. So with these, I just feel like it stays in place a little better because it's stitched on and it's not an actual overlap. Now I did get my normal large because Newbury fabric, when I first tried them on, <laughs> um, I was on my period and they were really tight. So maybe it's because it was a brand new pair, maybe because it was, I was on my period, I don't know. But they feel really tight. Over time, they have stretched out and the waistband feels so much better. And now I'm kind of glad that I did not size up because I feel that if I had sized up, they would be sliding down a lot because I feel like maybe they would be too big on my waist. So I'm gonna say, stick with your normal size or if you have a wider waist um, or if you are more like boxy shaped or maybe you just don't like things digging into your tummy then maybe you should consider sizing up I like my leggings to be like tight so I'm okay with my, my normal size um, just something to keep in mind obviously pay attention to what some of the other athletes are saying but personally I like my normal size and I really really like these and believe it or not this is actually going to be a top pick for me I think it's a nice like next level from Legacy and Rosa which we love but they've been around for a while and I was ready for something new and so I think that these are just so pretty I'm just sad that they didn't come in more colors I would have loved to have seen these leggings come in more colors. They only come in two. They only come in this like mineral wash and then they come in, uh, I wanna say chamomile. Um, not a lot of colors to choose from with these, but love them, love them, love them. I hope they keep bringing them back because I really do like them. Squat proofness, I think the, these actually do pretty great. Um, because there is like a subtle mineral wash, the inside of the legging is like a gray, dark gray. So whenever you squat, um, they are actually pretty squat proof. I'm gonna give them like a four out of five on squat proofness because they're really, really good. And they actually hold up in the gym really well as well. Next up, I have the Plunge Butter Bra. As you can see, She's got a plunge, <laughs> she's got a plunge. So it is a very, it's a dainty, very booby, very light support bra. Now it's called Plunge Butter or Butter Plunge because it is made with butter fabric. Butter fabric is brushed, but it's also super, super, super 
stretchy. Now, normally when I see dainty bras like this, I sized up to an extra large just because I want to make sure that I have enough coverage right here to cover what I need to cover. Um, but with this one, I kind of wish I hadn't sized up. I know it's a dainty bra and I know it's smaller, but I also feel like I have a little bit too much fabric like right here on the sides so I think I should have stuck with my normal size so I'm gonna say stick with your normal size on this one I also feel like it would have just like supported the girls better if it was a little bit snugger and a little bit tighter now it is adjustable so the straps are adjustable and then this back strap is adjustable so I'm definitely gonna play around with it and just try to make it a little bit more snug but I'm still gonna have this extra fabric right here which is why I say I, I wish I had just gotten my normal size so I'm gonna say for the most part get your normal size on this one now this one does have padding in it so if you like padding we got it with this one this one also reminds me of a bathing suit the way it's got this like scrunch right here it reminds me of a bathing suit top it just kind of like it's like a little hammock for your boob <laughs> I feel like it does a really good job of just supporting the boob and like lifting them up so I actually really do like it I don't know that I would wear this to the gym though I'd be a little concerned that people might think I'm wearing a bathing suit top at the gym um, not that I care what people think you know I always tell you I don't care what people think but like I want to look girly and sporty when I go to the gym. I don't want to look like I just threw on something when I go to the gym. So I don't know. I, I would totally wear this to the gym to like lay out. I would totally wear this to the gym for the sauna. I actually probably would even wear this to like Pilates or yoga. I think it'd be fine, especially because I like to do hot Pilates and it gets so hot in there. And I think this is going to be perfect for that because you get all sweaty. So maybe not weightlifting, maybe not anything high intensity, but definitely some more like light, light activities, laying out, things like that. I don't know that I would wear it for swimming though, because I don't know how butter fabric um, does in water. I don't think it's going to be like, I don't think it's going to look cute when it's wet. You know, like some fabrics don't look cute when they're wet. I don't think that this fabric would do it. I haven't tested it. But just in case anyone was wondering if you could wear it as a bathing suit top, I don't know that I would. If y'all test it, let a girl know for the future so I know. But personally, I don't think I would. The PDF does say it's designed for lifestyle. Okay, it does not say it's for like intense workouts or anything. So I just want to put it out there. But I like this bra. Is it my top favorite bra? No. Out of all the dainty bras that we have this time around, I think I would rather do the girlfriend bra over this bra personally. Um, but if you like this design, like this style, I think it's super cute. I also think that this bra would look super cute under a mesh top. Like if I had gotten it in black and I wore like a mesh top over it, I think it would have looked so cute. I have um, like the mesh ones from Secrets in the Sand and then I have like a mesh bodysuit that I always wear cute bras under. If this, if I had gotten black, this one would have looked so good underneath it. So if you want like a, like a cute bralette that you can wear under things where it peeks out, I think this is going to be a really great option for that. Again, because it is a lifestyle piece. Now it is short line, okay, but I'm wearing ultra high rise leggings right now, so it almost looks like it's not, but like if I were wearing shorter leggings that were not ultra high rise, it would fit more like that. So just kind of to show you how short it is, but I don't get any under boob, which is great because I don't like under boob. I like the way under boob looks. I don't like the way under boob feels. I feel like whenever I have under boob, it's just like, any accident waiting for habit to happen for the rest of the bra to go whoop, and exposing myself. So I like the look of under boob. I don't like the feeling of under boob. We don't get under boob with this one. I get, just, like I said, it's like a hammock for your boobs. It's so comfy. Next, I have the Air Knit Bandeau. And I like it more than I thought I would, okay? Because I... <sighs> bandeaus, like short line bandeaus, short tube tops like this, I have a love-hate relationship with them but this is totally like a me a Teresa thing um and it's just the way that my body carries fat okay so I carry a lot of fat right here and I have a lot of excess skin right here from weight loss and then I also have stretch marks right here and you guys know I am never ashamed to show my cellulite to show my stretch marks to show my loose skin none of that okay but if I'm going to wear something to the gym, I want to feel supported. And this does nothing for any of that. <laughs> okay, it's literally just a bandeau that covers 
my nipples at this point um but i actually do like it more than i thought i would because i thought that it was just going to be teeny tiny i thought it was going to be super super tight um and it's not it's surprisingly okay at all of that so this one has a fourth inch like inner band right here to just kind of keep it up and snug Okay. And then the bottom right here has a one inch band, again, to keep it nice and snug. I love this bottom band. I think it does such a good job to where it holds the girls up and so that it doesn't like slide around. This top one though, I feel like it, it's fine up here. It's right here on the sides. But again, I don't think it's the bandeau. I think it's just the way that my body stores fat and loose skin. So it naturally just as I move around, it tugs on it and then it kind of like makes it go down on the sides. I haven't had any oopsies where I, you know, flash anyone or anything, um, but I just want to point that out. Would I wear this to the gym? Probably not. Would I wear this for lifestyle? Absolutely. Would I wear this to the beach? Absolutely. Would I wear this to lay, down, lay out? absolutely okay i really do like it in that regard i just personally won't be working out in it i know um some of the smaller chested girlies loved it for working out um so if you're part of the itty bitty titty committee you're in luck because you'll probably love it if you have a bigger bust might not be the best for the gym um, you can certainly try you know, if it's, or if it's right up your comfort level then you go right ahead um i don't know Maybe one day I'll be brave enough to try it at the gym, but for right now, I think I'm just gonna keep it more of a lifestyle piece, but I really do like it. Now, I did size up because like I said, I have a bigger bust, so I wanted to make sure that it covered what it needed to cover. I wanted to make sure I wasn't getting under boob, and I don't, so I, again, love that pleasantly surprised because i for sure thought i was gonna get under boob and i don't get under boob so i'm happy about that the back again is pretty wide which i love so it does a really good job at like staying put i don't feel like it slides down or anything even though i sized up in fact i think sizing up helps it stay in place um because i know i've heard i don't remember who it was Someone told me that they felt that this bottom band was too tight, so then it would make the bandeau roll. But I think because I sized up, it's not too tight, so it doesn't roll, if that makes sense. So I think giving myself that extra fabric, that extra room, really just helps the bra stay in place so much better. Now, I will say, like most people, I have one boob bigger than the other. And I think this bra kind of accentuates it. So this is my smaller boob, this is my bigger boob, and sometimes I'll see that on this side, it kind of like gets down and then this side stays normal. So I don't know. Just wanna point that out there in case you have different size boobies, which I think most women do. Um, now the difference is obviously is gonna vary, um, but I did wanna point that out. So as I move around, you can kind of see that this side starts to come in, whereas this side stays normal. So I didn't wanna point that out, but it's nothing that I can't just go with like this if that's gonna be annoying to you then maybe stay away from the bandeau you know maybe the thing is that not everything's gonna be for everyone and um i know we have some big titty committee bras down the line that we're all going to love so skip this one for now if it's not for you save that money for when the other stuff comes around or get something else that you will love i, I always want to make sure that you love the pieces that you choose so if you're iffy about it maybe just skip it let me just skip it and get something that you know you will love. All right, let's talk about the Rosa bootcut leggings because I have a feeling these are going to be a top item even though they have a slit. And I, I see the people talking about the slit saying, I don't like the slit, I don't like the slit. But if you've kept up with BB Trends, you know that usually the stuff that people talk the most trash about are the things that sell out. I don't, I don't know why it is. I don't know. If I don't know, but I feel like these are actually going to be a top item, especially because they are ultra high waisted. And I know a lot of people love that ultra high waist. They are so comfortable. So they come up pretty high. As you can see, they almost touch my bandeau. My bandeau is a short line bra. So you get the full tummy coverage while still being super soft, stretchy, comfortable, loved. So if you like the way that your rosas fit, you like the way that your legacies fit, you like the way your foxy flares fit, these fit the same right here. You're gonna love them.
okay the biggest difference here is going to be the bottom part of the boot cut so with the foxy flares there are an obvious flare i'll put a picture right here for you to see they're flare these are boot cut so they have more of a slight almost like straight slight hem um not as flared and they also have the slit on the inside so yes you will be able to see your shoes whatever shoes you choose to wear now i have worn it with sneakers i have worn them with sandals i have worn them with ankle boots and none of them have bothered me none of them have been to where like oh my god this looks weird like i, I don't feel like it looks weird i don't know I, I, I know that that's going to be like a personal preference thing. But personally, I don't think it looks weird. No one has commented saying, oh my God, I can see your shoes. You know, I just, um, I don't know. I think that the I would rather have the slit on the inside than on the front because I do have a pair of flares that has the slit in the front. And that one you can see your whole shoe and your socks and everything right this one is kind of more inconspicuous on the inside so i think it looks good i also think it looks really good if you wear like a chunky or a platform sneaker because like if it does show it's like a cute little peekaboo of your shoe personally i tried it with my um platform converse and i tried it with my new balance and i think that they both look super cute so i feel like these are going to be a hot selling item additionally if you get the ones that i have like the pinstripe pattern i think that you can dress these up so well i um did for dinner the other night i wore these with some cute little booties and a black like a knit sweater and it looks so good put together and like i think you can totally dress these up now depending on where you work right they might be a little tight in the booty but you just wear something long like a long blazer a long cardigan um a, a shacket things like that that will just kind of cover your behind but it's still going to look professional and it's still going to be so incredibly comfortable so by the time this video goes up, I may or may not have posted a reel where I'm styling the um, button up and these pants different ways for like office and lifestyle. Um, so if I haven't already posted it by the time you're watching this video, just know that it's coming because I do think that this is going to be a very versatile legging that you can dress up, dress down, go to the gym, out of the gym, all that stuff. So this is going to be a top item for me. As far as this one over Foxy Flare, I don't have a preference. I like them both equally. They both fit me the same. They're both the same comfort. I am 5'2", but I still get the regular length because I am curvy, so sometimes I just need a little extra fabric. Like it kind of, you know, like with a, I don't know how to explain it, but because I have wider hips and wider thighs, it takes up more of the fabric, so therefore it makes the, the hem shorter so sometimes if, if i get the short version they're almost a little too short for my preference so i'd rather get the regular length and i think the regular length works great for me so if you're curvier maybe you know consider that kind of stuff kind of thing um but if you're just like petite then you know maybe go with the short um, but i like the regular length and like i said super comfy super cute top pick top item for this collection Okay, ignore the bra, because the bra is from Butter, obviously, but we're going to talk about the Hot Girl Run short, and this is the only bra I had that matched it, okay? So, Hot Girl Run short. We've had a flow short, we've had Lifesaver short. My favorite was the original flow short. The original flow short worked for me, then they updated the fit, and it was a nightmare for me, and I could never wear it, okay? Same thing with the Lifesaver, I could wear... I could not wear large because it was too tight. I could not wear extra large because it was too big. If I had to wear one, I would just prefer to wear the bigger one than the tighter one, obviously. So now we have this one, the Hot Girl Run Short, which is essentially the same concept. It is a spandex short with an outer lining. So it's like a two double line short, like a very like a runner's type of short. I'm not a runner. So the fact that these haven't really emerged for me it wasn't such a big deal to me because I don't really, I don't run. I don't run, okay? Um, but out of the two that don't fit, so like the flow that didn't fit me and the lifesaver that didn't fit me, I think these are the ones that fit me the best. Are they perfect? No. <laughs> no, they're not. But I do like them better than the other two. I feel like they sit on my body a little bit better. They are not as tight or as loose. Um, so yeah, I like them. 
if the other ones were like a five out of 10 for me, this one's gonna be like a seven out of 10 for me, okay? So I don't think it's the short itself. I think it's just when you have an hourglass figure, these types of shorts just don't work for that body type. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just me, I don't know. But because the inside layer is spandex, right? So it's super stretchy. But then the outer layer, does not have the same amount of stretch as the inside short. So then that outer one tends to be too tight or if they make it bigger, then it just kind of like looks really frumpy and just kind of like sits there and looks like a diaper. Again, it could just be my body type. I don't know, cause I see other girls wear them and it looks so good. But on my body type, they don't and that's okay. Cause you know, we all have different bodies and not everything's gonna look good on us. And if it doesn't, you just, move on to something that does look amazing on you, right? So I'm still gonna review it because obviously I wanna make sure that you are aware of how it fits me in case it helps you figure out your sizing. So again, it's gonna be a seven out of 10 for me, whereas all the other ones were fives out of 10s for me, okay? I got the extra large. I got the extra large because I wanted to make sure that the outer short was not too tight. And I feel like extra large was the way to go for me. I feel like if I had gotten large, the waist would have been nice and snug, but I feel like that outer short, this one, would have been too tight for me. And so the extra large fits so much better. Okay, now, that being said, <laughs> in the back, as you can see right here, I do have a lot of extra fabric, like on the top part of my booty, like the, the booty shelf top part. I have, I have, for some reason I have a lot of extra fabric right there. I guess just the way the fabric is distributed over my booty, it just does that. I don't know, I haven't really seen if it does that to other athletes or if it's just a me thing. Y'all let me know in the comments, but I get extra fabric there so it does look a little weird. <laughs> but as far as like the, the writing up of the shorts, these have done the best out of all the double line shorts because I feel like with uh, flow and lifesaver they would write up way more than these do these actually do pretty well you'll see me right here doing squats and doing like knee raises and although they do write up naturally just because you know they will write up naturally um they they actually don't go up so much to where like i feel like i have to constantly be tugging on them they actually work out really really well for me so there's two things that I don't like about them, okay? Because I'm, I'm okay with the outer lining, I'm okay with the inner lining, I love that it has pockets. Two things that I kind of wished were a little bit different, the way they fit me, was one, the way the, the fabric bunches on the top part of my butt, and two, the rise on the back. Because if you look at the front, the front of the shorts, the rise is perfect, but on the back, it's low. So I don't know, because again, because my curves back there are right pulling it down but you can see that it kind of like dips in the back of back there and um when i squat you totally see my underwear so if i were to wear these out which i will totally wear these out in public because they're actually pretty comfortable um i'm not going to be wearing it with a crop top or a bra i'm probably going to be wearing it with a t-shirt or probably wearing them with like a hoodie or something just so that when my underwear does peak at the top it's not visible, you know? But again, by far the best fitting out of all the other previous versions of these types of shorts for me personally and for my body type. So like it, like I said, I did size up. Glad I sized up, it worked out for me. And I just like pistachio. So I was like, there's only one pistachio item in this whole collection. I saw pistachio shorts, I need a pistachio shorts. Next I have the waffle knit set and I am in love with this set. So I had not had a chance to try it on. I had seen all of the other models try it on for like the shoots and this wasn't on my list of things to model so I had no idea how it fit. I kept asking the girls, how does it feel? Do you like it? Is it true to size? Did you have to size up? Does anything tug? Everyone kept telling me, no, it feels great. No, I, it's soft and stretchy. And so I trusted them, <laughs> trusted everyone, what everyone told me. And I went with my normal size, large, large, and it's a hit. It's a hit, it's a hit. <laughs> large, large, true to size. When they said it was true to size, they were not lying. I 
love this set. So it is a waffle knit jacquard, but I feel like it's softer and stretchier than the previous jacquard. Like we had jacquard with, um, I think Matt Scientist. There was, um, definitely the Halloween ones. Um, there's the knit jacquard, like crop, like the Hellraiser. So there's been knit jacquard throughout the history of BB. Um, and I feel like every time it has gotten a little bit better and better and better. This is by far the softest, the stretchiest jacquard we have seen. So absolutely, I love it. I love how it fits. Starting with the bra, it is going to be a light support bra just because of like the fabric that is being used here. But as you can see, it is still very true to size. Um, although it is light support, the coverage is pretty moderate for for being a smaller like smaller bra um and then we have these kinds of straps which generally I don't like but because this fabric is so soft the straps and the softness of this bra line up like they match the the hard part comes whenever like it's not the same like it's not the you not the same support here and here and that's when it feels a little wonky but because this is soft and this is soft it just goes together so freaking well plus all of these straps are adjustable these are adjustable these are adjustable or is it what yeah no it's two these two are adjustable so you can see like they just sit so nicely i freaking love them so it is a short line bra as you can see and it does have padding we love that we love when you get the option that you have the padding so i do love all of it true size i'm wearing a size large i'm obsessed with this bra i'm obsessed with this bra now i'm going to talk about the leggings next but right here between the two items um i have heard from other athletes that this is a very delicate fabric um those of the athletes who have like larger dogs have said that the paws of their dogs have pilled the fabric. Um, it seems like it attracts things too. So people who have worn like their threads hoodies or the thread zips over this, it has gotten like little fuzz balls attached to the fabric from the threads, some like the fussy fleece inside of the threads. So it is something to keep in mind. Um, since my package came late, I. Uh, I got all this information secondhand, so I feel like that kind of saved my set because my set is still looking brand new. Um, but if I had gotten it when I was meant to get it, I probably would have encountered some of the same problems. Now, Milo has already jumped on me, and the minute he jumped on me, like, I inspected it. But Milo is also a little dog, and so his paws are, like, these, you know? So it didn't, it didn't do anything. But, you know, if you have big dogs who have big paws... Keep that in mind because everyone else has said that it has snagged, or not snagged, but like pilled very easily. So just wanted to let you know. Now this is meant to be a lounge set, not um, like an ultra supportive workout set. And just from the feel of this fabric, I would have to agree that this does feel more like loungy. Like I would totally just be at home in this, um, but I really, really love it. And honestly... I would totally wear this to the gym as long as I didn't have to put a barbell up against my legs. So like I, there's no way that I'm going to deadlift and have that knurling from the barbell rub up against my thighs. I, like I wouldn't do RDLs, deadlift, anything where the, the bar path is going to touch me is going to be a no for me. So I would totally wear this for like maybe yoga, maybe Pilates, maybe a light upper body day, maybe just cardio, like walking, um, anything where I'm not going to have too much friction with other things. I would totally still wear it to the gym. But again, it's meant to be more of a lounge piece than an actual gym piece. Now, as far as the leggings, again, true to size, I got a large. They are not tight at all. They just, ugh, they feel amazing. Described as high rise, but I feel like they're more ultra high rise they feel almost like they come up like my roses and my legacies so i don't know i feel like they come up higher than high rise um and then the other thing is like the the front of this band is nice and flat so it just kind of lays nicely over your tummy but on the back there's an actual seam right here so i love that they started doing this where they put them in the back to keep the leggings from riding down in the back so it keeps them up here nice and snug over my booty overall i am in love with this set i love the way it feels i'm just i already know i like 
I'm conscious of the fact that it is delicate and I'm just going to have to be extra soft with it um, which I know might be a deal breaker for some of you because you know you maybe want pieces that are going to be a little bit more durable and so maybe this is probably not going to be the set for you but if you don't have large animals and you know that you plan to you know be more careful with it then I think you'll love it too because it just feels so good and I'm wearing the color cappuccino and I just love it I love it Next up, I have the Colorado set, which is a fleece line polyester spandex. It feels very much like Elysium to me, like the same type of like sweat wicking performance supportive fabric. Um, it's not Elysium, but that's what it feels like just to kind of help you understand what it feels like on. That being said, I still got my normal size. Sometimes in Elysium, I do like to size up just because I know it tends to be a little bit more compressive and supportive. But for this time, I did not size up. I stuck to my normal size large on both the top and the bottom. And I like the way that both of them fit and I do not feel the need to size up. So with these, I'm going to say stick with your normal size or if you're between sizes and you don't like to feel too tight, then maybe you can size up. This isn't a set that I would recommend sizing down in, kind of like with Nubri and Butter. Those are stretchier, they're more elastic, they're softer, and you can totally size down. Um, this is still stretchy, but it's more compressive. So just, you know, a caution there. So let's start with the crop. Again, this is a fleece lined crop. Um, and then this part right here, just just literally just this part right here, is bonded. So think of like the scalloped leggings, the corset bodysuit, um, the airbrush leggings, all of that have um, bonded parts. So that's literally what this part feel, it feels like. It's just a bonded part, okay? Um, it's not tight at all. It actually feels really nice. And I feel like it helps the crop stay nice and snug to your body so that it doesn't like flare out. I love it. Um, the inside of this is, like I said, fleece lined, but it's a very light fleece. It's not like fuzzy or super thick, but it's definitely warm. So as I'm standing here in front of the camera with the light right here next to me, I'm already warm <laughs> and I'm indoors. I literally went and turned the AC down for this set because I knew it was going to get like pretty hot. Um, it's not like super, super hot. I, I, I want to make sure that because it's not like a heating super warm fabric but it's definitely on the warmer side okay um and i'll post a picture of the inside right here so you can kind of get an idea of what i mean like it's fleece line but light inside um and then this one a lot of you have asked me to compare it to hellraiser quartzite zip and wicked bra um, I'm not going to compare it to Hellraiser because they're not the same fabric, so I feel like they it's not comparable. Um, Wicked Bra, again, Wicked Bra is meant to be supportive, tight, big support bra, right? So again, this is not that, so I'm not comparing it to that either. Quartzite Zip is probably going to be the closest thing out of all those other ones. Quartzite Zip Crop is probably going to be the closest to this, but this is still a little bit thicker. The silhouette is very similar. The zipper is in the same placement, but this one is just a smidge thicker. It's not tight. I don't want you to think that it's tight. I feel like the Quartzite Zip was pretty true to size. I feel like this one is true to size. Again, I'm wearing my normal size large. It doesn't dig. It doesn't pinch. It is just perfect so for this one i'm going to say pretty much stay with your true size um the zipper again it is a locking zipper so that means that if i want it to stop there it's going to stop there and i can move around and the zipper is not going to like start slowly writing down right it does also have the clasp so if i want to unzip it all the way i still have the clasp here to keep everything together or you can undo the clasp and just do the zipper like that now the one thing that might be a deal breaker for some of you is the hood because it does have this hood right here as you can see so the back is racer back and then it has this hood and the hood is kind of cute but I can understand why some people might 
see that as a deal breaker, not want it, be like, uh, why is it there? I totally get it. But if you're like a runner, right? Or if it's supposed to be like winter and you're running and you want something to cover your ears and your head, it's a good option to have. I know that's what we're moving into spring. You might not have a use for it right now, but I don't know, maybe like in the fall, you might find it handy again. Um, honestly, I forget the hood is there. It doesn't bother me. I don't really care for it. I'm not going to use it, but it also doesn't bother me that it's there. So you know up to you you decide if it's something that you can live with or not um but overall i love it it's long line because it's a crop but it's like it's pretty long as you can see it almost connects to my leggings so we love that not too short it's nice it's comfy it doesn't pinch in here it doesn't dig in anywhere i love it i i love this piece so much more than i thought i would Again, this collection has surprised me because I saw a lot of things that are like, that is so cute. I just don't know if it's gonna work for my body. And um, I'm, I've been pleasantly surprised with how much all of these things have worked for me. And honestly, shame on me for even doubting it because I should know better. Next, we have the Colorado Pocket Legging. Again, same fleece lined material, but it still feels very much like Elysium. It's very nice and supportive and compressive and it's warm because it's fleece lined. We do have the extra top seam up here to just keep everything great, uh, like, you know, in place, which is great if you're a runner, if you want to do high intensity activity, if you're hiking and, you know, moving around, you want your leggings to be supportive. So this is great, especially great for um, areas you know, where you get more cooler climate. So I'm like Pacific Northwest or like, you know, Arizona where it gets really chilly at night, but warm during the day. So I think that these leggings are really good. These are the only leggings in this collection that have pockets. And the pockets, again, are super comfy and they're actually quite roomy. So you can totally put stuff in there. Um, and they're not gonna ride down just because of how supportive the waistband is. Now, the one thing that is different from these leggings that we hadn't seen BB do is that these have a stirrup at the bottom and the foot. So I'm gonna put a picture of it right there. Um, I am 5'2", and I feel like the stirrup is very comfortably placed to where it doesn't hurt my foot or to where it doesn't pull the leggings down, okay? Um, I remember when I was younger, like a little girl having leggings like this. And I clearly remember hating them because I remember that the stirrup part would hurt the arch of my foot. And so when I saw these, it was like an instant flashback. It was like my trauma resurfacing, remembering how much I hated stirrup leggings when I was a little girl. But these are comfortably placed. Now I will say when I modeled, okay, once I put my sock one of my stirrups stayed nice and flat. One of my stirrups kind of rolled. The one that rolled got annoying inside my shoe after like 20 minutes. So when you wear these, make sure that once you put your sock on and your shoe on, that the stirrup stays nice and flat under your foot because if it rolls, it's going to irritate the crap out of you. Now, if you're a tall girly, I'm thinking like, I don't know, five, seven and up. I don't know that the stirrup will be comfortable for you. I'm just gonna be honest because at 5'2", I feel like it's almost perfectly placed. Um, obviously it has stretch, yes, but I'm thinking that if I was any tall, like if I was like 5'7", I can see how that stirrup would annoy me the way it used to when I was a little girl. I, I don't know, maybe ask some of the tall athletes or see if any of the tall athletes got them to see if they've experienced any of it. Maybe it's just my trauma and it's not like that. And that's not the case for people. I don't know. But just, you know, I wanted to throw that out there so that, I don't know, you keep that in mind. Compression wise, again, super supportive. I got my size large. I feel like they're very true to size. If you don't like things to be too tight or if you don't like this part to be too tight because it does have that seam, then size up one size just for comfort and just to have a little bit more extra room. But the legging itself should still mold to your body um, to make them pretty supportive. Next, we have the Colorado Zip Jacket which is also fleece lined and it feels very like silhouette wise feels very similar to like phantom jacket uh core jacket 
Um, a lot of those other jackets that we've seen BB do, the silhouette is pretty similar to where it is curve accentuating. Like it doesn't cinch in, but just the way it's designed, it comes in, at it's tapered in at the waist. So I love these kinds of jackets because they just look, they're a little bit more elevated, right? They just look like... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I, just, I like them, okay? But obviously, this is the fleece-lined version. So this is going to be much warmer than all of those other jackets that I've already mentioned. Again, this one does not have a hood. The hood that you see here is from our Colorado crop. Zip, thumb holes. Now, for cooler weather, I love this feature, is that you can fold this over and it covers your hand. I don't know. What are these called? I'm sure they have a name. Cuffins. According to the PDF, they're called cuffins. So I do <laughs> love that. Keeps you nice and warm. Um, and then again, zip all the way. The one thing that is different, a lot of those other jackets have a round hem. This one is more straight, but it is very much still full length. Like it covers my belly. So if you like full length jackets, this is going to be a good option for you. Um, the other thing that it has that the other jackets don't is it has a pocket right here on the arm. I, okay, so I don't feel like they're super tight. I feel like it's very similar to all those other jackets. Is it snug and form fitting? Yes. Is it tight and compressive and uncomfortable? To me, no. And I have bigger arms, so I feel like if I can wear it, a lot of other people probably can too. Um, when I shot this jacket, um, like for myself, not with baby, uh, this was the last outfit that I had to shoot, and I had 10 minutes left in the studio to like finish shooting, pack up all my stuff, and get out of there. In my haste to hurry up and change and get ready, when I was pulling the sleeves up, I did accidentally snag it right there. This is me. This is me when I went like this. My nail <laughs> went in there um not because it was tight but because like i was pulling it up and my nail again see i almost did it again my nail <laughs> naturally went in there so i just wanted to make sure that i tell you all that this is a me thing i did this i did this because i wasn't careful but if you have longer nails i just you know be careful I, i'd hate for you to do the same thing i did um yeah but other than that i love it it's so form-fitting it's so cozy it's definitely warm um and then again you can wear it zip unzipped of course we have pockets the pockets are zippered so if you need to zip you've got that option personally i just leave mine unzipped all the time anyway but super cute colorado leggings colorado crop Colorado zip jacket, all of them in the color Muckleberry, all of them, in my opinion, true to size, large, large, large. The final piece I have for this part one, remember there's a part two of this review, for this part one, the final thing I'm going to review is the bodysuit. This is the Dream Heather bodysuit. Now, I consider myself um, a bodysuit connoisseur, a bodysuit snob, shall we say. I love, I love a good bodysuit. I think the things that bodysuits do to my curves are just, mm, I love me a good bodysuit, okay? That being said, <laughs> this is not one of my favorite bodysuits. Um, you know, Baby has come out with so many different bodysuits, and um, I don't hate it. I'm going to be, I'm, right now, I don't hate it, okay? Am I going to wear this? Yes. Am I going to wear it to the gym? Yes. Am I going to wear it out and about? Absolutely. I'm totally going to wear it. This is not a piece that's just going to sit in my closet. I'm going to forget about it. I'm totally going to wear it. I do like it. It's just not one of my top favorites in comparison to a lot of the other bodysuits. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you why I don't like it, but for some of you that might not even be a factor that you might not like it. Okay. Dream Heather, as we know, um, it is a stretchy fabric. Okay. But it also, I don't even know how to describe it because it's stretchy and I feel like Dream Heather gets better the more you wear it. I told you that with the Dream Heather leggings. The more you wear it, the stretchier and comfier it becomes. That has been true for the leggings and that has been true for the bodysuit. The first time I put on the bodysuit, they gave me a large. No way could I fit in it. There was just no way. Okay, it just, it was 
I, I had to break it in and I was scared to break it in because I was literally afraid I was going to snag every seam. So I asked to um, model an extra large instead. Extra large still felt very tight. Now I'm wearing an extra large right now and it feels so much better now. But at the time when I first put it on, again, because I hadn't broken it in yet, it felt so freaking tight. So I think I ended up modeling in a 2X, which... In retrospect now, yes, it was comfortable, but I think over time it probably would have gotten too stretchy, too loose, and I wouldn't have liked it anymore. So that's why whenever I got my PR package, I said, no, I'm going to go back down to an extra large because one, that's my short size anyway, and two, I know it's going to get stretchier and comfier over time, and 100% it has. It definitely has. So I'm wearing an extra large right now, as you can see. It looks really good. The shorts are not too short. They're not too tight. The corset part, I don't have too much extra fabric, which is kind of what was my concern with the 2X is that I was going to end up having way too much fabric in my torso. Um, so the extra large was the way to go. Coverage wise, it comes up much higher than the um, corset bodysuit, obviously. Obviously, the Ivy bodysuit is going to be the one with the most coverage. I don't know if it's still available. On the website but that's the one that covers up more this one is a nice happy medium between corset and ivy bodysuit so i do like the neckline in this okay what i find the most or the least comfortable to me is going to be right here this right here it's not even this this is fine this is fine it's this right here this area right here it pinches in at a weird angle and over time it has gotten more comfortable because I have stretched it out more so it has gotten comfortable more comfortable it's still a little tight I don't know if you can if it looks tight um but just so that you're aware of that the first time that I put it on again super super tight the more that I wear it the more that I move in it the more that I stretch it out the better it becomes so if you put it on the first time you're like oh my god this is so tight just know that it will get better it's this i think it's just this fabric it just gets better okay and um yeah but if you're between sizes if you have a bigger bust if you have a bigger wider back if you have bigger traps even i would say just go ahead and size up um whenever we got the PDF, um, you know, I was chatting with some of the other athletes and I was telling them, hey, I modeled that bodysuit and I sized up. And there was another model on set um, and she is more like an athletic build and she also had to size up. So it's not just the fact that I'm curvy. I think just the bodysuit itself is a little tighter up here um, since that other girl had to size up too. So I told a lot of them, I was like, hey, just FYI, if you feel like you're going to need more room up top, go ahead and size up. And um, several of them have reached out back and like, oh my God, you were so right. Thank you for letting me know um, that I should size up because I don't know if I, the other one would have fit me. And I'm, I'm telling y'all the same thing that I told all the other athletes. It's like, if, if, and if you're in doubt about the top being too tight, just go ahead and size up. The, the shorts, the tummy, everything else is going to mold to you. It's going to be fine. It's really this right here. <laughs> That's going to be the tightest um, until you break it in, essentially, which is kind of what I've done now. I've, it feels so much better, so much better. So I'm probably going to keep it on <laughs> for the rest of the day because I really do like this bodysuit. Um, it's just, it took me, it wasn't, <clears throat> it wasn't love at first sight, you know? I feel like the corset bodysuit, ivy bodysuit, even the bodysuits from Bloom from like 2021, all of those were like love at first sight bodysuits. This bodysuit has been more of a slow burn. But we're getting there. I like her now. I like her now. I didn't like her at first, but I like her now. All right, my ladies, that is it for part one of this review. In part two, we are going to be reviewing all of the loungewear. So we're going to do the air knit shrug, all of the threads pieces, the shacket, the button up, the accessories, the bag, the hat, the socks. All of those things are going to be in part two. So stay tuned. That one will be up 
fo following this one either the same day or the next day um but just know that it is coming i did not forget about those other pieces and they are coming your way once again boyfriend launches on saturday march 2nd at 1 p.m central code Teresa saves you 10% at checkout, supports me and all of the work that I do for you guys, and it helps me grow with the brand. So thank you from the bottom of my heart if you choose to use my code. All right, let's pack it up because now I got to film part two. Bye!